Following the suggestions of a number of our users, we've been working away trying to develop a template that's going to make life really quite easy when you are working professionally and dealing with a number of jobs. And here we are. This is the current state of play with this template. We have a whole series of symbols over here that we can simply drag into position. The group, here's a group of small shrubs. If I click on it, notice that we're already tagged, the symbol's already tagged to the plant database file. But I digress. The stage we're at at the moment is we have reached a point where we'd like to have a layout sheet where we can show concepts and what I've done is create an A3 size sheet. If you look down here in the tabs here, design concept A3L, that just tells us that it's on an A3 landscape sheet. So if we go to it, here's what we might be able to put to the client to show the concept. You'll notice that in this design in currently, or in this drawing currently, We've got lots of layers, some turned on and some turned off. But in GK Plus, you'll get much better control of layers by using the layer tool. If I select a viewport and just move slightly inside and say viewport layers, now we've got a different view of our layers and I'm turning layers on and off according to my need. I just want to show the client here. I want to show the, the ideas behind the design, but we don't need, uh, for example, dimensions because that would be turned on for the construction team. I've got a couple of blocks that we've been playing with to check clearance for people moving through the garden and so on. So this viewport layers tool is really handy. That means, let me escape from here, we, we can plot this drawing out now. I'll zoom in and the users can read. We've checked this particular client, we'll imagine has a mobility scooter. So we've just been checking things, redefining the design a little. Not that we're terribly interested in this design, but what we are, we're imagining it's a real job and we're just trying out the tools in GCAD Plus in this environment to make sure things work nicely. For example, in the right hand corner, we have this block, it's called Tile Vertical. So it's a, sorry, it's Title Vertical. But if you look closely at it, can you see that the project title is in um, a brownish red color? They're the ones that I need to edit. So if we select it and edit the block, I jump in here and deal with that and the next one. We don't need the, t the title client, just stays. And we've got that same block, let me close it, is on several sheets. And we can just update the block once and on every sheet where it's used, that will automatically update. So this is our, if you like, our first sheet. Later on, we'll show planting design option A and option B and a schedule and an image board and all sorts of things can be shown on different sheets. So that's a concept design that the species aren't identified, but we're saying um, in this area here, uh, add some 90 millimeter square posts 18 millimeters high for an espalier lemon and along here you'll put well mesh support for climbers so you're telling the client what design changes may be needed in the site to implement your design we've got low low walling done to a stone wall running through here for a seating height here's a storage we've we've not done any detail on it at this stage. It might be needed for the sake of argument for pool equipment and so on. 
So it's one design. Go to that sheet, right click and zoom extents. And now we're in a position to plot. So we can just say file and save as a PDF. Let's take maximum and a window. This PDF we will send to the client. So we'll say OK. The prompt then says wrap a box around the area you want to print and generate a PDF. And I've got it on my desktop. So we'll call it, this is a concept. So we'll automatically add the suffix PDF. So we'll say the PDF will now be generated. And because I've got Acrobat Reader installed here, it will pop up with that view of the plan. Now, um, I can control plus, I think. We can zoom in here and you can see the level of detail we've got. And uh, I can read all the text. So this can go out to the client. It was a quick and easy process, but takes advantage of the viewport layers option and there are a number of our users who I know have never played with it, but it's a very powerful tool.